Hey everyone, it's Michelle and welcome to my first ever vlog! I'm part of a student design team called UBC Super Mileage where we build and design super fuel efficient vehicles and we race in that competition. This coming week we are going to the Shell Eco Marathon which is out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. For this competition we are bringing our hydrogen fuel cell prototype vehicle and our battery electric urban vehicle. So I'm on the electrical team and my main project for this year was working on the control board for our fuel cell. So I've worked on designing the board and writing the firmware to control the amount of air that goes into our hydrogen fuel cell. I'm also the main driver for our hydrogen fuel cell vehicle because I am one of the shortest people on the team and I'm one of the few experienced people who has driven the vehicle in the past. Competition does actually coincide with exam week at UBC, so I'm actually missing one of my exams to attend this competition, but I spoke to the prof and we sorted it out and I can take the exam sometime next week instead. This is the team's first time bringing our hydrogen fuel cell vehicle to competition, and it's also the team's first time attending competition in the past three years because of COVID. So it's been quite a challenge for us, and there's still a few things we need to sort out with our hydrogen fuel cell vehicle to make it past technical inspection. And from what I've heard from the urban concept vehicle, we also have a few little things to sort out there too. But hopefully we can get everything sorted out and pass technical inspection, get on the track, and get a valid run in. So the past few weeks have been a little bit rough because we've been trying to get the vehicle ready for competition, and we've been testing out it out as much as possible, but Overall, it's been quite fun. Because I work more on the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, and that is the vehicle that I drive, this vlog will probably focus more on that vehicle, but I'll try to get a couple of clips of our urban concept vehicle and the steps it goes through as well. I have high hopes for both of our vehicles, and we're really hoping that we can get a good run, and I'm really excited for competition, so it's time for us to hit the road and catch our flights. in Toronto and we're doing our Lego check out. Say hello to Winston's vlog. Hello. 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 We have landed in Chicago. We might be a tad bit lost from where to go. Hello, we're on the train on our way to the rest of our location. Alright, we now have our car. We are currently driving through Chicago on our way to pick up Leah and Ruben who are hanging out in downtown Chicago. by watching Formula One. Day one of the Shell Eco Marathon. We are on our way to the track right now and we're super excited. We are currently at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The track looks very big.
our driver and manager check in.
It is currently pouring outside. It is raining right now. So we are all kind of gathering around. Here is Urban. We are gonna set it to party mode soon. another team's car. Oh my gosh, visibility is great. Oh my gosh, there's so much space everywhere. Hello everybody. Hello. leaving Indianapolis, taking a three hour drive to Chicago where we get on our plane. So we're on the road, we've left Indianapolis. We're going to catch our flight from Chicago to Seattle and then from Seattle to Miami York. Chicago. We made it through check-in and we have about an hour until our flight. So we're just wandering around and exploring the place. We've met up with the Steak and Shake crew. Steak and Shake. So competition ended and we are back from our trip. Both of our vehicles passed technical inspection and made it onto the track for the first time ever, which was super duper exciting for us. But we had some technical issues and we weren't able to complete a valid run during the first time that we were on the track. And then all future runs ended up getting canceled because of the rain. Luckily we didn't get hit by a tornado warning. I think there was also a lightning warning on one of those days too. The weather was not in our favor during that trip. Overall, it was a really, really fun trip and competition itself was really, really fun too. I really liked the venue, it was super big and overall competition atmosphere, it was really nice. Shout out to that one team for lending us that Arduino Nano. Unfortunately, I did not catch which team you guys were, but thank you so much, we really appreciate it. Anyways, first competition in three years so it was quite the accomplishment to actually get both of those vehicles out onto the track. We've learned a lot from this year's competition and we're hoping to implement those ideas into next year's competition. So this was my very first vlog and I'm still kind of experimenting with different vlogging styles and video editors so we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video I will probably make more vlogs in the future but in the meantime you can check out the transit race videos that are on my channel. Alright, hope to see you all next time. Bye bye!